This is Keyboard P from the Phone 7 blog. A few days ago I demonstrated how to get transparent wallpapers on your Windows Phone 7 device lock screens. And this whole concept seems to have been um, pretty popular. And I got quite a lot of blog comments and emails uh, regarding the wallpapers. Um, amongst those emails, a few people are asking me how to actually create the transparent image itself. So in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to create a very basic image that has transparency and also how to get that image onto your Windows Phone 7 uh, device. The first thing we want to do is open up our image editing application. Now in this video I'm going to be using GIMP, uh, G-I-M-P, which is a free image editing application, but it's pretty powerful. Um, you can get it from GIMP.org, but this trick works with pretty much any image editing application that supports transparencies. So I work with Paint.net, Photoshop, um, etc. So we want to go to File, New, and we want to change this image size so that it's a good resolution uh, when it's on our phone. So I'm using an HTC Mozart, and I'll change that to 480 and the height to 800. Now set this to portrait. Now we want to move down to this advanced options section and where it says fill with we want to change that to transparency and what this will do is it will create a new file and have the background completely transparent. Um, the comment section is optional but um, you can change it if you like so I'll just change it to keyboard P and click OK. So we have our new image file here as you can see it's filled with um, a checkered pattern and what this pattern represents is the transparent areas so anywhere you see this um, that area will be transparent now you can draw an image here straight away and save it and that will be fine but we want to do a slightly more complex image which will require layers now the image I'm going to create has already been uploaded to the gallery at phone7.wordpress.com um, I'm going to show you how I created that effect first thing we want to do is create a new layer now on the right hand side you can see that we've already got one layer which is a background layer this is already given to us and we've already set its transparency um, its background color to be transparent we want to create a new layer by clicking on this icon here and you can, as you can see our foreground colour here is black, our background colour is white now for this effect I'm going to have it black anyway so I can select foreground colour and click OK now as you can see we have a new layer and our background layer and now in this new layer we want to uh, modify it so that it has a page curl effect now the first thing I want to do is make it slightly transparent so this opacity bar here dictates how transparent it is and now you can reduce it to zero and that will be fully transparent um, 50% obviously halfway um, and I'm going to move it to around 70% if I can get there yeah, there we go, 70.1, good enough um, and as you can see it's slightly transparent but it still has um, a shade over it now if we go to filters and distort you can see that there's all these effects available to us and we want to go for the page curl effect now I'm going to set it to upper left as it is and have the curl orientation to be horizontal now you can mess around with the settings and see what you prefer um, but this, this, uh, these settings are fine for me click OK now as you can see it's um, completely transparent here in this area and it's slightly transparent here so on the phone it will have that effect of, um, of it peeling off now what the key part now is to save it as a PNG file and the reason you want to save it as a PNG file as opposed to a JPEG is that PNG files can handle the transparency and store that information in a transparency channel so go to file save as and you can um, we'll save it in the wallpaper section and we'll call it peeling off tutorial dot png and then click save you can leave this as it is um, and click export uh, if you have any settings to change but the defaults are fine and click save now you want to um, get this onto the phone so in order to do that you need to email this image to ourselves so we go to uh, your email account and attach the image and send it okay so now we're going to move over to the phone right so now we have our email on our phone we want to um, open up the email click on the attachment and when the cancel button uh, disappears it means it's fully downloaded click on the attachment again and you'll be and the wallpaper will be displayed now slide up the application bar and click on use as wallpaper uh, click the check icon and there we go that's all you need to do uh, your wallpaper should now be um, transparent you can see some of the existing wallpapers if you go to phone7.wordpress.com and um, special thanks to everyone who's actually sent in a wallpaper to be displayed if you've come up with your own and you want to share yours feel free to leave a comment and I'll update the gallery with your wallpaper I hope this video has been useful in helping you create your own transparent wallpapers uh, for Windows Phone 7